Item number, SCP-496. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. MTF Gamma-6, Deep Feeders, are to assist MTF Beta-7, Maz Hatters, in monitoring and researching SCP-496. The current perimeter around SCP-496 is to be publicly designated as a protected marine wildlife reserve. All personnel located inside of the perimeter must wear waterproof protective gear that covers their entire person and avoid any skin contact with water. Personnel studying SCP-496 are to focus their research on finding a way of slowing or halting the spread of SCP-496. Description SCP-496 is a substance composed primarily of calcium carbonate that covers a 35 square kilometer area of the sea floor, 84 kilometers off the coast of Jakarta, Indonesia. The substance has characteristics of a waterborne contagion that is capable of infecting an organism via contact with the skin. Once SCP-496 has infected an organic substance, it will begin the process of converting all organic matter of the subject into SCP-496. Signs and symptoms of an SCP-496 infection include Batches of red or skin-colored welts Note, Subjects with a tendency to perspirate heavily will show increased amounts of welts. Severe itching. Note, water has been shown to reduce the severity on the infected areas it is applied to. However, exposure to moisture of any kind will accelerate the infection. Painful swelling of the lips, eyelids, and inside the throat. Note, internal bleeding may occur depending on how hydrated the subject is. Once the SCP-496 infection reaches the brain, the victim may suffer from Delusions Disorganized thinking Extremely disorganized or abnormal motor behavior Hallucinations Note, testimony of the hallucinations experienced by Agent Viva can be found in Addendum 496-1. Once the SCP-496 infection has spread throughout the entire body, the following symptoms will occur. Conversion of all organic matter into SCP-496. Normally, the process takes 17 hours. However, if the subject is submerged into water, the transformation will occur within 56 minutes. Note, most subjects exposed to SCP-496 have expired before reaching this stage of infection. Addendum 496-1. SCP-496 was discovered by a Foundation research vessel while investigating reports of an abandoned fishing liner drifting in the middle of the ocean. Inspection of the fish hold of the ship revealed a large mass of SCP-496, which formed due to infected fish being stored in close proximity. The ship was boarded by a local Foundation research vessel. Attempts to locate the missing crew failed, however. An individual infected by SCP-496 was found inside of a locked room in the cargo hold of the ship. The state of the room showed signs of an aggressive struggle. Addendum 496-2 Due to a lack of understanding of the contagious properties of SCP-496, Agent Viva became exposed to SCP-496 while inspecting the infected individual. The moment Foundation personnel became aware of the contagion, the subject was quarantined in a standard containment cell located on the research vessel. Agent Viva agreed to cooperate while under quarantine, and a portion of the video log from their observation has been added to this file. Video Log Agent Viva is locked inside of a containment room, located in the storage hold of the ship. A camera has been placed in the room so Dr. Wilson may observe the infection as it advances. At the time of this segment, Approximately 50% of the subject's body has been converted into SCP-496. Begin Log Dr. Wilson Agent, are you still able to communicate? Agent Viva Yes. It's hard, though. The subject begins looking around the room, causing flakes of SCP-496 to fall off of their neck. Agent Viva I... I'm seeing things. This isn't real. Dr. Wilson. Agent, what are you seeing? The subject is silent for 12 seconds. Dr. Wilson. 
Agent Viv... Agent Viva. A, a city made of stone. It's... It's underwater. It's full of people, but they aren't drowning. They look happy. There's a temple decorated in so many different shades of coral. Dr. Wilson, can you see the room you are in? Agent Viva, yes, but I can see the people too. The people going into the temple and praying. They look beautiful with the coral adorned on their face. The subject walks to the door of her cell and attempts to escape. Agent Viva, we should go back. It's better down there. Please let me out. Dr. Wilson, Agent Viva, please try and focus on what you are seeing. Step away from the... Agent Viva, the water made us, and it wants us back. The subject begins pounding on the door while pleading to be released. Vocalization ended once Agent Viva's esophagus fully closed due to swelling. Agent Viva then expired due to suffocation. End log. Note. After the report of a contagion was received, MTF Beta-7, Maz Hatters, and MTF Gamma-6, Deep Feeders, were dispatched to begin investigating the seabed for signs of SCP-496. Controlled testing of SCP-496 on D-Class personnel is authorized in order to study its effects. Addendum 496-3 Further investigations of the seabed have revealed structures that resemble those described by Agent Viva, buried underneath a three-meter-thick layer of SCP-496. Carbon dating has confirmed the structures to be over 3,000 years old. As of the writing of this document, 1,312 humanoids infected by SCP-496 have been discovered inside of these structures. The current perimeter of SCP-496, as of the writing of this addendum, spans a 35-kilometer area and is growing at a rate of 4.7 meters a year. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-495, Thing Maker, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.